from viewers in this video we will see the digital register the type is parallel in serial out PISO subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box now we will go to the topic parallel in serial out digital register the SIP register uses parallel input and generate serial output is known as parallel input serial output SIP register the data is given parallelly and taking the output as serially. This SIP register work in a reverse way of SIPO, serial input parallel output. Here what we have parallel input serial output, so it is reversed. In this type of SIP register, the input data enters a parallel way and come out serially. But in SIPO, the data goes serially and taken out parallelly. So the input of second flip-flop is the output of the first flip-flop, right? So from first flip-flop, the data will be given to the second flip-flop, right? Now we'll go to the logical diagram for this parallel in serial out shift registers, right? See here, there are four, four D flip-flop available. One, two, three, four. It is constructed with the four D flip-flop. What is the excitation table of the D flip-flop? the D flip-flop, the input D, present state, next state, QN, QN plus 1. What is the nature? The whatever may be the present state, the input what we are applied D will be reflected as the next state of the flip-flop. For example, if D equal to 0, whatever may be present state, the next state will be 0. Suppose D equal to 1, whatever may be the present state, the next state will be 1, right? So D0 means the output of the flip-flop, D flip-flop is 0. D1 means the output of the flip-flop will be 1. The input will be reflected as the next state of the flip-flop, not bothering about the present state. So that we are using D flip-flop for consulting the register. The data what we are entered, D input, same thing will be available at the output. So that we can easily use the loading the data, shifting the data, parallelly we can pass the data or serially we can pass the data. Input will be reflected at the output. So that is the main reason we are using the D flip-flop. Right. So here the flip-flop A, B, C, D. These are inputs. D, A, D, B, D, C and D, D. The outputs are Q, A, Q, B, Q, C and Q, D these four outputs. So what we are giving DA will be available as QA, DB will be available as QB, right. So because of parallel input and serial output, there are two modes available. We can parallelly load the data one time or we can shift the data, shifting from one flip-flop to another flip-flop. So two possible operation is available in this type that is shifting the data from one flip-flop to another flip-flop and loading the data parallelly. So that is controlled by this logic circuit. Two AND gates and one OR gate is available. Right? This. And also the mode 0, 1. Right? Based on the mode, it will act as a shifting or load. See here, one line is available here. The AND, and gate is connected. In this AND and in this line, this and get G1, G2, G3 are connected. In this normal line, G4, G5, G6 are connected. Right? Both are connected by R gate. Nature of R gate is any one is high, it will give the high output. Right? Now we will see what will happen if it is 0. This is the control line. It will decide whether the shifting or loading. Suppose 0 means after the NOT gate here, 1. This line will be 0, same thing will be 0. Due to 0, G4, G5, G6 will be 0 only, disabled. It will not give any output because of AND gate. Only this line is having a digitally logical high output. So that is connected to G1, G2, G3. So it will get the high output. One input is high. What is another input? B, the data B, data C and data D. The A is already given in the DA. So it is nothing but a parallel loading. So one input is high, another input is input data. 
so this will be either high or low based on the data b equal to 0 mean this will be low b also 1 mean high so that will be given to this or gate so this will give the data to the db so the parallelly loading the data similarly this d2 will load the data c to the dc similarly this g3 load the d data d to the dd right so the parallel loading will happen a will be loaded here b will be loaded through g1 and and this r gate to db c will be loaded through g2 and r gate to the dc d will be loaded through the g3 and this r gate to the dd the data will be parallelly loaded because g1 g2 g3 are having high out high input because of zero here one so one will enable this g1 g2 g3 and gates this line is zero so g4 g5 g6 is disabled right suppose if the line is one suppose this input is one so what happen here it become zero so this line will be disabled so g1 g2 g3 will be disabled we cannot load the data here the line is one the second line now become one that is connected to g4 g5 g6 right see the what is the next input to this see this it is from da right the data is given the output available here that is given to another input of the g4 so this g4 is connected through this r gate to the next flip flop so the meaning is shifting the data what we entered da that is available in qa that will go to g4 already here one is there already this day this uh, and gate is enabled this is disabled because of zero so that will go to r gate through the r gate it will go to db so the qa will be shifted to db similarly qb will be shifted to dc through this g5 and r gate similarly this qc is shifted to dd through this g6 and this r gate so the shifting will happen if the line is if the input is control input is 1 shifting will happen the control input is 0 after this line it become 1 the parallel loading will happen right so we can control the operation either shifting or loading based on this value 0 means shift 0 means parallel loading 1 means shifting the data right so it is clearly we are able to understand by using the diagram right so the loading this line is high so here g1 is enabled we are connecting the data here so it is parallelly loaded one means this line is enabled here or this line is enabled one more input is from first flip-flop will shift it to second flip-flop so the shifting will happen right zero parallel loading one shifting the data from first flip-flop to second flip-flop right so this is the serial data output now we'll see the description as well as the waveform and truth table so what we discussed now it is given as a description the bits a b c and d are passed to the corresponding flip-flop when g1 g2 g3 are and gates are active this is the first mode zero means after the not gate this g1 g2 g3 got high outputs these gates are active when the load shift line is set to zero the binary inputs a b c will be loaded to the respective flip flop when the edge of the clock is low thus parallel loading occurs right if the control line is zero g1 g2 g3 are active this data a b c is connected as another input of g2 g3 g3 so the data will be parallelly loading the g4 g5 g6 and gates will be activated when the shift load line is set to 1 when, right if it is 1 means it will go for the shifting mode the shifting of data will be left to right bit in this way parallel in serial out operation will occur right so 0 means parallel loading 1 means uh, 1 means shifting now we'll see the truth table for both shift or load control is zero means it is a parallel loading the data is one 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 so through the and gate and or gate g1 g2 g3 
this data d1 1101 is transferred to da db dc and dd right da will get 1 db will get 1 dc is 0 and dd will be 0 right through the uh, not gates g1 g2 g3 the data is parallelly loaded now the shift or load control is 1 when the clock pulse is applied now what happens shifting now the data will be shifted g4 g5 g6 and gate will be enabled will be got the high output now we'll see how the data will be shifted right so the initially all the data are zero output of the flip flop qva qb qc are zero in the first clock pulse we are applying one the data what we need to apply uh, what we need is one one zero one first we are applying one to the first flip flop so it become one zero 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 the da what we are applied will be available at the qa qa will uh, output will be one other outputs are zero while applying the second clock pulse the data will be shifted qa is given to the db db of the next flip flop so the same db available as the output of qb right so that qa is transferred to qb this zero is transferred to third flip flop this zero is transferred to fourth flip flop now what happened it become one one zero zero after the next clock pull we are passing zero because the third digit is zero now what will happen this one will be shifted to second flip flop this one shifted to third flip flop this zero shifted to fourth flip flop now the data become zero one one zero right now in the fourth pulse we are applying one this fourth data is one now what will happen this zero shifted to second flip flop this one shifted to third flip flop this one shifted to fourth flip flop so finally what we have one zero one one that is one 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 zero one starting from the msb we can write one one zero one as the output is shifted the data while applying the clock pulse one by one the data is shifted we are applying what we need data one one zero is applied step by step while applying the clock pulse it goes to the next stage now we'll see the timing diagram so there are four digits available so four clock pulse one two three four initially all are zero during the first clock pulse qva we are passing the data one right the second clock pulse we are passing the data again one this one we shifted here these zeros are shifted the third clock pulse we are applying again zero so this one shifted here this one shifted here this zero shifted here right finally we are applying again one what we need is one one zero one right so this zero is shifted this one is shifted here this one is shifted here so final data what we have one zero one one that is one one zero one so in this video we discuss about the parallel in serial out type of digital registers we discuss the logical diagram in the two modes available parallel loading as well as shifting that is controlled by one not gate and logic diagram two and gate one or gate will control the operation either loading or shifting based on the value zero means parallel loading one means shifting then we discuss the truth table for both loading and shifting then we discuss the waveform also clock diagram Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.